This podcast provides a platform that will share many different points of views that should empower you, uplift you, make you want to go out and do right. When you hear the term still a man, say, yes, I am. Still a man. Yes, I am. Still a man. Yes, I am. Let's go. What's up, people? Welcome to another episode of the Still the Man's Podcast. Tonight, we are going to have an intelligent discussion about the following. Uh, you know what? Before I even get into the topic, let me give a salute to the women. Happy Women's History Month. Um, like I said, we shouldn't just acknowledge women during this month. We need to acknowledge them every day, all day. And in turn, when may you acknowledge the men and they'll acknowledge you too. So let's give it a Hey, today's also International Sons Day. Okay. Um, so let's give everybody their flowers and happy International Sons Day. All right, let's get down to the business at hand. The nice topic, women and men do not love the same. I said it again. I'm going to say it again, I should say. Women and men do not love the same. So are you guys familiar with that uh, term, men are from Mars, women are from Venus? Have you ever heard that term, Patsy? Yes, I have. What does that term mean to you? Um, that we basically think different and act a little bit different. You know, we might have um similar thoughts on things, mm -hmm. but the way that we portray it is differently. Gold star, gold star, right out the box, Patsy coming and dropping jewels. All right, Tanya, when you hear that term, what does that mean to you? That we 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 love different, we act different, we think different. What Patsy said. Okay, Gina. Same thing. We love different. We act different. We feel things different. We treat y'all different. We just we're different, and y'all are. Who's y'all? Who, who's y'all? <laughs> the men. The men are different. All right, just the want men. to be clear about that. Just want to be clear about that. All right, uh, sister, sister. Josie, welcome back. Um, what does that term mean to you when you hear the term men are from Mars, women are from Venus? We're different. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. We're different. So when you say we, are you referring to the women? Uh, men versus women. Okay, so you're talking about as a whole, we're different. The two genders are different. Yep, we're different. All right, let's hear from the men. Uh, Timmy, what does that term mean to you? It don't mean nothing to me because I know damn well I ain't from no Mars and I know women ain't from no goddamn being. It's yeah. just an expression. Timmy, it's you're from just Mars. an expression. It's just an expression of, of uh, you know, to, to, um, to, to describe women and men. Because sometimes we are out of this world, so that's why they they made it men from Mars and women are from Venus. Because you know, because of that term, people can get crazy. All right. I well, thought we were from Jupiter. All right. Um, let's go to Bird next. What does that term mean to you? That phrase. Uh, I just think it means men are from men and women are from different planets with two separate beings from two separate places. So we're not the same. Okay. Uh Gregory. Oh uh, yeah, I think they're yin and yang, peanut butter and jelly. 
You can't have one without the other two piece puzzle. You got to put it together. Okay, good analogy. Good analogy. Um, Mr. Clearwater. I like that. You got it's that right. It's basically, it's basically, it's just a metaphor. Um, stating that, is. stating that <laughs> there's a clear distinction between both genders. So, um, the quality and all of that is different. All right. Well said. Well said, Sean. Then when I just got on with the different. Hey, you're breaking up, Sean. We can sound my phone. Yeah, you breaking up. It's an problem or something. How about now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got you. Now I'm in the bad spot. I'm driving. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why. All All right. right. Try it again. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes. Yeah. I'm in a bad area. I'm driving. So. Okay, no, um, that is exactly what it says. Men, men, are di- men and women are different uh, genetically, the way we think, the way we comprehend things, um, the way we go about um, solving issues, problems. We're just different, okay. but the same. The way we were born. Mm-hmm. Um, let me see, did I, did I get everybody before I go on? All right. So you guys, if uh, anybody Hello. else blesses us with their um attendance, wait for a break in the um the conversation and then make it known to the rest of the panel. All right, so let me ask you this question. Um who who do you think of the two genders, male and female, are more romantic? Women or men? Bird? Right. I, I'm going to say women are more romantic. You're going to say women? Women are women more romantic. Reason being? I just believe they require more. One more time? Hold on. Hey! They require more. Women require more romance to feel Verify on the lens. Shut so, up. So are you saying that they 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 require more romance or they're more romantic than men? Both. Okay. Um let's get a female's opinion. Gina. What was I'm sorry, what were you saying? Which of the genders do you think are more, more um, romantic? romantic? Women right. or women? Um, definitely the woman. We put more time and effort into being romantic, nurturing, you know, you have the nurturing gene. So yeah, we're more romantic hands down. Okay. Timmy. Uh, I don't think it's uh because you 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 got some men that are romantic, so you can't just say it's just women. I think it just depend on the individual. If they ain't never been around that type of stuff like that, or or they ain't picked up on other people doing the things that they do for their women, then they don't know how to do that. So it's, it's, it's just the individual. Okay, well said, well said. Uh Patsy. Um, I definitely do think women are more romantic, although there are some men out there that can do just the, the same thing. It's just like what do they value in a woman and how do they wanna um win over the a particular woman that they're actually interested in mm-hmm. to actually to send, to act on their romantic um part of themselves. 
tell her and that woman and really get the the woman to be like, oh, you're so sweet, you know, you know. But men can actually do that too. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go to Robert next. Um, um, are women more or men? Uh, well, just because the feminine touch of a woman, I think that they would be, but men most likely in our day of time, they're the ones that fall in love easier and want to have children. Just five minutes ago, when Eddie had just mm. pulled that back, okay. he immediately uh, Tanya, do you think men or women are more romantic? I'm here. Hold on a second. Right, um, okay. I'm no, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna say that it de it depends on how you de how you define romance. Mm -hmm. How you how you define romance? It, is intimacy included in that? And then it depends on the individual, like Timmy said, because you have to know your partner to know what they will find um, romantic, you know. Yeah. So it, de it depends on the individual and it depends on how that person defines romance. Okay, well said, well said. Gregory? Um, I was gonna say it depends too. It depends on maturity level and your age, I believe, because older men tend to be romantic and then when you're a younger guy, you probably just are trying to weigh your options out. You get what I'm saying? And then nowadays, you got these women out here that you can't even take them to the Cheesecake Factory. They just had a whole argument about this crazy. They don't want to go on a date to the Cheesecake Factory because it's not romantic to them. Hmm. It, it isn't. Hold on. Hold on. Let's, 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 let's. That, that's, 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 that's all right. Let's go to Joseph. Uh -uh. That, that, I love the cheesecake factory. It's to be romantic. It's, it's about the thought of that person, the individual, the time, and, and, and the effort that they put in to being romantic. There's no right or wrong way of being romantic. It's all about how you present it. Okay. Have uh, you ever talking. heard of Ronnie Romance or Rebecca Romance? No. I heard of Robert Romance. Well, you got it. The scales are today and yesterday and tomorrow. All right, let's go to Josie. <laughs> I'm thinking romantically, right? So I would want my spouse to be, you know, involved with my thoughts. So I'm going to hope that I can share that out loud and he can act on. Mm. Mm. Okay, that sounds good. And Josie, that is a segue into our next question, but hold tight. Sean, uh, do you think men or women are more romantic? Um, I'm gonna go with the majority of the panel. It depends on the individuals. Um, uh, I guess with society, they would say women are because you know they're mm -hmm. deemed to be the nurturers, but um, I've 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 seen some cats out here that mm -hmm. that, that romance very uh yeah uh, a little bit more than I'll ever be but you know right right <laughs> okay um let's go back to Jay was alluding to so um we'll we'll start with you Josie. So do you think there's any truth in they, what they say that uh, women and men think differently? That's why they behave differently when it comes to um, romance? Yes, because I guess for women, we're thinking about the romance. And for men, there's always some type of a... Mm, Roadblock, uh, defense mechanism. I don't know what it is that because, I'm not, because I'm not a man. So <laughs> they, they maybe they feel like 
she's running game on them or whatever it is. Um, but it, it puts up a defense where they're not moving in that direction that you're expecting. So do I think it's different? Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, Sean, I'm come right back to you. Do you think there's any truth in uh, men and women think different, so therefore um, they approach uh, romance differently? Um, we definitely think different differently um but I, I'm, I'm gonna take it a little step further i think for some of us men we have a tendency to um let's just say something negative happened mm -hmm. and even if a special occasion comes up we may not completely forget how that individual made us feel at that moment so although we'll put the effort forward like that that I don't want to use the word animosity, but that thought of, I was just pissed at this chick just a few minutes ago. And right now, you know, I'm still tight, but we're going to get through this. Mm. And so we can go through the motions, if you will. Okay. So it's like we can't get out of our head once it, once it, um... Sometimes, yeah. yeah. Some, some some of us. Okay. Okay, we that's that. All, man. all right. Um... Let's go to I want to say I want to say Hold some on. of some of y'all too. All right, let's go to Patsy. Um, I think it depends on um the couple in mind. It's like women can actually talk about like their feelings, but if it's a man. I think if you're really into that woman and you're really paying attention to what she's saying to the romance part, mm -hmm. it's like you gotta be creative on her cues and her wants and what she thinks and then bring in not just what she's saying, but kind of um bring in your your touches, your the way that you kind of perceive as like your 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 individual individual ideal, you know, of how you want to play that romance out. Okay, if that makes sense. No, it makes perfect sense. Uh, let's go to Gregory next. Can you repeat the question again for me? So the question is, do you think there's any truth in what they say that uh, men and women think differently, so therefore they approach romance differently? Uh, yeah, I think that's very true. Definitely. Okay. Um, Let's go to Gina. Yeah, I think we approach romance differently because like when girls have girls lose their virginity they want to make it just an example they want to make it special uh -huh. you know they want to make it memorable you know mm -hmm. it's a moment in our lives that we want to guys don't care about that stuff they just you know they Preach. just want to get it done Preach. Preach. they want to get it done you know what i'm saying when i think about you know, my man's birthday or something like that, or Valentine's Day. He might think that is the you know it's just another day. Oh, it's another day, but it's just the romantic part about it. It's just I want to cater to you. Yes, I cater to you all the time, but let's keep it real. It's not twenty four seven. You know what I'm saying? So, so when you special you want to cater to your man on Valentine's Day, you're a caterer like that on Valentine's Day. It's about Valentine's Day's for love. That's right, man. Let me talk. For let love. Me talk. Hold on. It's let her finish. Let her finish. It's for everybody. It's for the couple. It's for the person that you. It's, it's it's for the both of you guys. So yes, I I want us to make it romantic. Nice. You know what I'm saying? That's it's 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 the us thing. But back to the question: it's 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 uh, girls think about stuff like that. Women think about stuff like that. Guys, not so much. Some guys do. I'm not going to say all of you guys don't, but some guys just rather just, you know, keep it simple. 
right. Well said. Well said. True. True. That was good. All right. Let's let's go to Bert. Go ahead, Bert. Um, I agree with everybody. We're different. That's that's what makes us men and women. We're two different species, so we're not going to never think the same. Women are born natural nurturers. We've been all nurtured, men and women, by women. Mm -hmm. So it is the, the, the biggest thing. Yes, we are different. We do see things differently. Okay. Different. Well said, well said. Tanya? Yeah. Um, do I think that it depends, like, mm -hmm. in the be. I'm going to say in the beginning of uh, your relationship, I think for the men, it's more physical. Um, they want to, they want to be more physical. Like somebody said, they want, it's, they want to get to it. Um, and for the women, they, they're more romantic, but the more that you get to know one another, the romance and intimacy can evolve because for me, the more you get to know me, for me being romantic is knowing what I love, treat, you know, knowing my touch, knowing what I like to do, knowing my inner thoughts, um, what I like to do if we're going out to do an activity, letting me know that you into me. That's romance for me. Mm -hmm. Um, I think for the men, um, we're, we're just different. Like some men just if that's not what they into, they just they're just gonna break through it. There's no there's no uh um attraction, there's no intimacy intimacy in it. You know they just there. And I will caution my brothers that are having issues with such. Uh, I, I think you might want to get some spiritual counseling, professional counseling. Maybe some uh, brother to brother discussion. Uh -huh. but, uh, yeah, I will caution you. Let's go to Robert. I'm going to agree with everyone. Men and women are different, but then sometimes it just boils down to the individual. Um, a lady could be romantic in many ways, and a man can do the same. I mean, I've been there in my lifetime. Uh, just because you think that a lady can set a, a, a mood, a man can do the same thing, the candles, the dinner, the um, the bubble bath or the rose petals all in the water, a little bit of champagne, the candles lit all around the tub, the massage to the bedroom, you know, caressing the mental too before you get in, you know, in deep. Um it's just the individual. It can be a man or a woman, but majority of the time, it is the woman. I think I think somebody been um making copies of my playbook. Yeah, you hear this shit? No, nah, that's just me. I nah, been. No, I can hear this shit. I ask the question for me. For can, me. Can, can I ask a question? Hold on, Joe. Hold on, Joe. Hold on. Hold on, Joe. Hold on. Let Timmy get his in. I think for me, it ain't. It's not no. Uh, it's not a hard thing. It's something easy. And and what happened to the 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 the? It's not the the uh the price of of uh, of what you do. It's the effort that you put into what you do. And and I don't think. Are uh, lavishing things. The the simple things are the most important things that mean something, you know. So I I I just don't get with all that. Uh, you know, all the extra because you know people are, are you know people get too caught up in watching too much other uh, people doing what somebody else is doing for somebody else. And I think you should just be happy no. and focus on <laughs> what you have and don't try to, to do what someone else is doing because what works for that person might not work for you. You know, because I done seen someone do spend no. Uh, expensive, go all out for a chick and she didn't appreciate it. Okay. You know, so 
uh, why would you go through through go spend expensive stuff, go buy, go out all out, and then she don't think it. If you done something simple, she probably would have done that more but, better than something. But Timmy, simple. what if that was that person? What if that was that person? Right? So she didn't appreciate that girl, that woman didn't appreciate it. But the next woman might. So you can't say, oh, you like, I yeah, like to be yeah, wearing and dying. Yeah, that's good, huh? Put the light on. You know, and so you like. Don't do it to the next woman. And so, that means you were faking. That's and, not really and, and And whoever comes into my life is going to wine and dine me because I'm going to treat them as the way I want it. I, I want to be treated. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you say like, okay, well, I don't want to do that, you know, then you're just not the person for me. And romance. Let's be clear about this, ladies and gentlemen. Romance is supposed to benefit both individuals, the union as a whole, not just one person. Both individuals should be getting getting something out of absolutely the of act of love. Josie, you wanted to um ask a question. I, I guess that you know there was a lot said, so I don't know if my question is really relevant at this point in time, but. I'm going to say it anyway. When a lady presents to you men on the panel a romantic night or a romantic outing or a romantic getaway, okay. or she even suggests it to you, right? Do you go along with it or do you shut it down? How do you feel? What's your take on it? So you say if they initiate the act of romance, do you partake, even if you're not into it, or do you shut it down? Is that is that what you're saying? I, I yeah. want to know, because we talk about romance. The reaction, the different initial reaction to what she's doing. For me, for me, I'm just speaking from a woman's point of view. If you guys bring something up on us, right? We're like, oh shit, <laughs> let me get dressed all <laughs> right? Right? The women Judge, are I first, got you a question. Right? So I want to know how do how do you men feel if we present that to you guys? Uh, I'm I'm gonna answer it, uh, you know, just from my experience. You either get up and be a team player with your woman, or somebody else to tag their self in. Hmm. Well said. I'm telling you, I want I'm my a spontaneous type of person, and I like to go places. So I'm down for whatever that. It'll just happen. Yeah, I don't care if it's I'm down out of for whatever. Room. All right. So Timmy, Robert, and Gregory answered. Um, let's get the ladies in there. Go ahead, Patsy. Yeah. Um, when I answered that that other question, that's pretty much what I was saying when Josie's question, what Josie posed as a question. It's like as women, we might say, okay, um, this is the kind of stuff that I like and I want. And if you, you as my other half are picking up my cues and what my desires and what I want, it's up to you to bring that, um, what I want and to bring it in your style as a man and bring, you know, you could put your, your twist on it. But as long as I'm getting some of what I I kind of like put out there as a romantic day, whether you're taking me out for a date mm -hmm. or you're bringing it to, into the house at the kitchen table and saying, hey, babe, you know, we put the kids to bed and you, you fed the kids or whatever the situation is. And then after now it's time to play laser time. Ain't no goddamn you know, so kids in like, the house with that type of thing that's going on. Hold on, let her finish. Yeah, so it's like you're kind of putting both what I want and what, what how you envision what the dinner date is going to be like. Okay. So it's like you could play it out in your your mannerisms mm -hmm. as long as you kind of picked up on your girl's cues, your wife's cues, or 
whatever she is to you, girlfriend, fiance, whatever, wife. Mm. You know, just just kind of like put it on the table and, and kind of play it out and, and put my twist in it and your twist in it. Okay. If that so makes sense. It makes perfect sense. Yeah. Um, before we go ahead, let me go ahead and acknowledge uh, Duchess is with us. Kiana's with us. She's not feeling well, so she's listening okay. in. Thank you for having uh, just, that. Just back to this Thank you for having that uh, warrior uh, woman spirit, that woman warrior spirit. Thank you for being a team player. Uh, and if, if something moved, you come in roaring. Uh, right. Right, Can so I add to my answer real quick? Oh, Uncle D, I was trying to wait for everybody. Go ahead, Jay. Go ahead. Because I know my answer was kind of dry. Hold on one second, on second Jay. Yep. After Gregory, we're going to go to um, Tanya yeah. and then to Sean and then back to Gina and then to Burr. Okay. If I forget the order, someone just jump in there. Go ahead, Gregory. Um, I feel like in the beginning, if there's no romance, because that's what we was talking about, the initial yeah. uh, initial approach, right? Yeah, in the beginning, right. if there's no romance, then it's not going to be no romance in the end because of the way that it happened. You get what I'm saying? As a guy, you should be romancing the girl at the beginning anyways because you're trying to get this girl to be into you because you feel like this could possibly be the one. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, it vice, be, vice I, I, versa. It should be some courting, but I, I think that both people No, but do. as a guy, you're the you're the you're the hunter. You're supposed to go get what that's you the, want. That's that's the court. That's that's the courting. That's what I'm referring to. They're, they're, you're, you're the hunter. Right? So you're, <laughs> you're you're going you're going to get supper, so to speak. Um uh and sometimes it's a great meal. Uh Tanya. What question you want me to answer? Josie's question? <laughs> Josie's question. How are you want me to yeah, so she, we, yeah. So she yeah. said if uh, because if you get a um a surprise uh invite, yeah, um as the man or as the woman, should you be open to it, ready to go? Is the, am I correct, Josie? The the yeah. reason why she really presented it just only for us men on the panel. So when you ask them, it's throwing them off. Yes. So Josie, am I right or Robert's right? Robert. It wasn't even asked right. for the women. Oh, so she said. So she said. Both, right. So so she wants both to answer the men. I really, I really, really presented my question to the men. So if I'm yes. going to be true to high, right. it was the men, and that's what it was. Okay, so let's go to and let's stick to the men. Then. Um, I yes. stand corrected. Um, Tanya, I'll come back to you for the for the um, next question. Okay. Um, Sean and Bert. Sean and Bert. So Sean first, then Bert. I'm sorry, pose the question one more again, please. Okay, so basically she said if you got a surprise invite for a romantic interlude, would you be open to it? Yes, I would, because if I'm into my my lady like that and that and that's how we move, I have no problems with that. Um, yeah, I, I I would be open to it. That's what I'm talking about. My brother, speak the truth. Speak the truth. Go on, Bert. Bring us home. Uh, well, I believe I, I I would be shocked because I guess I'm not the main recipient of romance. Mm -hmm. I'm either the one with the romance or that's kind of where it was at. So I would be shocked and awed and thrown off balance for a minute, but I could be into it. Yeah, I think I'm going to answer this question yeah. too. I am a team player every day, all day. I am, I am I'm there. I, you know, I stay ready so I don't have to get ready. And 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 like Bird said, when you are often the uh the the giver, the the initiator, always the giver. Yeah, yeah so, that's so, me. So in, that, in that type of situation, yeah, it's 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 a thrill. It's like when, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to say that I haven't um, been the recipient of such behavior, but yeah, uh, some of my, um, some of my significant others, they were takers. That's all they did was take. All right, Tanya, I promise we're going to go to you first. 
Um, this is you had to have a job. This is very, no this romance is very, without finance. It's a very important um, um question. What? No, got it. Your definition of love. My definition of love. Like I said, intimacy is my definition of love. You have to know me, mind, body, and soul. Woo. That's love. That's that girl in the sexy love. Uh, mm. Timmy, what is your definition of love? Uh, well, I guess the definition of love is having me. That's enough love. Oh. I'm full of love. Okay. Man, Patsy. Shit. <laughs> Patsy, uh, what is your definition of love? Who'd you call on? Patsy. Oh, okay. I had no I wasn't um you still trying to digest what Timmy said. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I was I agree with Tanya, like, to it's intimacy, and I know there's all kinds of love, like, like, brother love, sibling love, love for your mother, but romantic love is pretty much, that is, like, intimacy, um, trying to figure out, like, who your other half is, or, you know, just, trying to figure out like each other's vibes and everything. So yeah, pretty much intimacy and communication kind of plays a part in that and everything, you know? Ooh, okay. Gregory, what is your definition of love? Um, Love is a soul agreement with me and my spouse and when I'm with you, it should feel like home. Listen, to you, listen to you sound like a, a grown man speaking that. Drop okay, cuz it's right. Okay, I, I, hear I hear you. I love you. I, I hear you. them Jews. I, I boy, I'm telling you, growing up right between Come on, the Juju. Bring the Juju on. All right, um, Gina. Like, thank um, you, y'all. Thank you. All right, Gina. Yeah, Juju bees on. That's what it is. No, oh. I agree. I agree with my cousin. Love should yeah, feel like that was home. Right, that was right on point right there. Yeah. Love yeah. should feel like home for sure. That should be number one. Um, intimacy, obviously. Um, quality time. Gifts. Acts of service. Mm -hmm. You know, um, just words of affirmation to each other. Mm -hmm. Inspiration. All that. That's love for me. So, so, you so, sounds that's, like you, that's it right there, Gina. That's it. Sounds like, <laughs> sounds like you're bilingual in them languages of love. Um, you know? Uh, let's, <laughs> let's, let's, go to, let's go to Bird next. You know, skip me right now. Oh, you, you okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> let's go to, let's go to Sean <laughs> next. <laughs> um, love for me is hmm. Me, I'm, I'm going to use the word that we use in, our, in some of our past uh, casts that we had. Mm -hmm. It's prioritizing, um, sacrificing, Ooh. like putting the, the person that I'm with, putting their needs and concerns above whatever it is that I may like, don't like, disagree with, or agree with. Mm -hmm. It's like just really trying to put their, their needs above mine. Uh -huh. Y'all got some leftover um game from Valentine's Day. Everybody's still in the mood, Cupid. I'm telling you, you done did some work. I'm telling you, y'all are on it tonight. Josie, let's hear your definition of love. Well, first of all, I'm going to say it's Gina, Gregory, Tanya, and Sean with his sacrifice. Yes. And I'm just going <laughs> to say understanding and forgiveness. Ooh. And I'm going to leave that right there. Y'all yeah. are y'all y'all are on y'all. I agree. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Go, I agree. So, for sure. For sure. I got it. I got it. I got to applaud y'all tonight. Y'all are on y'all drone and sex. Yeah, yeah. everybody um, playing those love cards tonight. Y'all are bringing it. Um, Clearwater, what's your definition? The moon's out. 
you know, it can be everyone else's is pretty much what it is. I believe it is definitely this. When two people come together as one, you're in sync. When um, there's no two heartbeats, there's one because you combine your hearts and and you're flowing like water. Ooh, uh, another one. Mm. Life, life Make is me water. Rain. I'm, 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 I love I'm, that I'm, song. Right make there. it rain, Patsy. No, <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't What's that, that right was now. Josie, I think. Right. So, bird, you ready to oh. share now? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm, 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 all right, let's go. Now, first of all, Fuck it. Yeah, you, let's you go. Sound real I think she's the last I one, but I agree. What's your Buckle definition up. of love? What's your definition uh, if, oh, if, if, if it's some mean hate, I'm not writing it down. <laughs> <laughs> I believe for me, now, this is all me. Yeah. For me, love has to be unconditional. Uh huh. Without any question from me, without any asking from me, someone that's going to love me is going to do for me because that's they want to do for me. I'm telling y'all. Whether it's a, a meal, a massage, a text, uh, 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 it's a lot. There's a lot to love me. And I don't, I don't expect anything less from me. I expect exactly what I'm looking for and anything else isn't what I want. Yeah. You guys, I gotta tell you, y'all, yes, y'all are uh, some grown and we're a very, guys. We're a very vulnerable breed if most of you women on this panel don't really understand. What you see on the outside is not really what's on the inside. Mm -hmm. we, are, we are born nurtured. We crave nurturing, but we can't ask for it. We don't ask for you to nurture us we expect you to nurture us because that's we're it, born man. into being nurtured. So yeah. that's the natural, oh. that's the natural, the nature of the women. Natural yearning. Nurture. Got it. Nature, nurture. They almost come close. As well as the provider from the man. You don't, you don't, you shouldn't have to ask a man to provide. He will provide and protect you. You don't ask for that. These are just natural things that as the man from Mars performs yep. as the man and yep. as the woman from Venus is that nurturer. Even when we ain't shit and we 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 do things wrong, we don't want to be emasculated or put down or or judged. We just want to move forward and, and build on a mistake that doesn't have to stay that way. So I'm so saying I'm a question, as long as the mistakes oh, don't stop. keep happening, good, then we go. Oh, take man. off the seat belts. We Let's build it, y'all. We build it. Can I ask you a question, Bird? Oh, man. So you Bird. Want, Bring it on. One at a time. One at a time. Let's one go. Bird. Bird. I just you, called and, 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 and answer this question for me, B, since you want it so bad. Ask you want it. The nurturing, you want the nurturing part of a woman, like like mm -hmm. a mommy. So when you got something dried up on the side of your lip and they spit on their finger and they wipe that dry off. You want that too? No, you get you're away missing, from it. You're missing no, 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 no. the it. nurturing <laughs> component. I don't want a mother. I'm saying the natural <laughs> instinct of a woman is a nurturer. Why can't You've a been woman born. do the same thing your mother would have done for a grown man? No, no, because no, no, we're no, not let talking me, about wiping you, you, something <laughs> off your face. You take it we're in talking another about, direction. We come on, right? That's come on. that's we SpongeBob, was, and that's we cool. Was, we was, we was Naturally, the man has we been support. out there all day in the cold. Man but is here to provide and protect. Talking to you in primal language, Listen so you can understand uh, uh, clear water. Can I take a shot? Can I take a I shot? Think he, I think I think that's muddy water. When he come back home, he want to be nurtured, bro. Let me say, I want a meal. I want a hug. I want to feel right, validated right. for my 12, 14 hours a day. I, I'll yeah, right. say this. Oh, oh, um, go um, go ahead, Dave. Let, 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 let me answer what Robert um, proposed. So I would say this. If we keeping it on the grown and sexy and you talking about if I have something on my mouth, and um and and my lady went to go wipe it off. Use her wipe it, it, it off, baby. It off. That's that's what I'm she saying. Use it your... it off. No, no, no. Why couldn't you answer that the first time when I said that? But I'm not. I'm not looking for it. Because I'm not looking for it. I want a mommy to wipe stuff off my face. I want 
a nurturing oh, woman to, to wipe, wipe that, that off. And you tell me, mind. baby, you got a boogie in your nose. Let me get he that don't, for he you. Don't, he don't mind if she uses her spit because it's coming from She's a good doing, place. Now, when she's digging in your nose you or wiping your mouth clean <laughs> for you the way mommy would do it, it's nurturing, <laughs> right? It's not the, the way mommy would do it. It's the way this woman would do it. If you take a little Oh, mother do that? That's nasty. She's like, let me get that. That is nasty. I don't want nobody spit on my face. Keep that shit. You got to so, spit. You get so, a napkin. Just, just so we clear not, about not, this. Not, not on my face. So just so we clear <laughs> about this. Right, bump. So that she was going to lick it You got a bump, bump. Listen, listen, listen let's just be clear shit. about this. If it was cool, yeah, it's cool. Oh, y'all right, are wrong. Right, everybody bring it back together. Bring it back together. Yes, still please. Still want to like to stir it up. So just to bring it back to what we talk about. Wait, what can I say saying. No, David, can I say something? No, but all of that. <laughs> that was just going on, that clearly defines we're different. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, 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 hold on, Josie. Hold on, hold on. Stay right there because I think that we may be different, but there's a lot of um things we have in common, though, too, because I think that everybody is, is, is taking the mature approach and if we're staying on our growing and sexy. The way Robert That's what y'all all trying to do. And then, no, no, wait, wait. Oh, you will. We'll listen to you, Mr. Fortune. We're supporting. Because you shut the fuck up. We're building people. We objectly. Please let David speak. We're supposed to be supporting one another, building each other up, not tearing them down. So, what I was going to say is all the men in the grants, if it's coming from a good place and coming from a woman, it's supposed to be leading with love. If she takes. Um, spit and dab it on your mouth to wipe something off. I would say, and this is what I'm gonna say. That you sounds disgusting. Agree, Let Dave say it. Use your <laughs> tongue. I'm gonna tell my woman to use her tongue. Her fingers fine. Wow. Now see, Go ahead. and that's, that's what I'm about to tell you. If he didn't say that, I know it sounds nasty to a lot of you guys. But when you're sucking the spit off of these women's tongue and all oh, that shit. stuff, kissing them. Don't try yeah. to tell me a little We're spit on the side of your lip. Well, Sean, we, we, I understand where you're going. If you're she spit in well, it, so if she I licked it, it and then wiped my face, it'll be different. But right, if right, you so let, let's just take, let's just bring it back. Wipe my, come on, man. Let's just bring it back. Gregory, I think this is a time to let's let's hear let's let's hear yeah, the first video. Is, there's, there's a difference between grown and sexy and mature, and what <laughs> Greg was speaking on was mature. All right, let's let's the, everybody, the everybody, exactly. yeah, everybody yeah, mute yeah. your phone. Everyone just for a moment. Committed to writing to the highs and lows in a relationship. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, Gregory. Hold on, Gregory. Uh, Pause the video. Kiana just sent yes. the message saying yes. it would be someone who's committed to ride through the such and such relationship. Thank you, Duchess. Um, and thank you, Robert. Uh, for, great, um, great, for, Duchess. For, for I, did, I like this. And and, and 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 Duchess, feel free to utilize that speak text so That's that you can be a part of the conversation. I'm glad That's you utilize it. Now, There's some men and women that's definitely going to be doing exactly what I said. But all right. it's not for you guys. Everybody pause for a moment. Let's get to this first video. It's 33 seconds. So everybody pause and um, mute your phone. That's for 33 seconds. Timmy, mute your phone. All right, Gregory. How do men and women differ in expressing love? Men often associate love with physical touch, while women tend to value acts of service more. Recognizing these differences is key to nurturing healthy relationships. It's essential to understand and respect your partner's primary love language. Open communication and willingness to adapt can bridge these differences, fostering deeper intimacy and mutual appreciation. Participants left for an 11 rate. Spoken by who? Okay, so let me just say this. British. Based upon what Rob presented and what that video um, presented and what Kiana just shared with y'all, Again, it's going to be based upon the level of your relationship, where you're at. 
uh, the maturity level of your relationship. That's what it um it sounds like. Um, let's go to Bird first. Bird, did you agree with the video? Did you find anything that you can um implement into your thinking? Did yeah, you no. agree with the video, the points it was making? Is that anything that um can be applied to your thinking, or does it represent you in any way? Yeah, no. I don't think that's relative to my lifestyle. So, and I just said spoken by who? I see a goofy white motherfucker pointing at a sign, and I don't know if I can buy that. Okay. All right. Uh, Patsy, did any of that, um, did you relate to any of that? Yeah, that's some of what I was trying to say, especially the knowing your, your partner and who mm -hmm. they are and knowing each other. And, and I hit on the communication a few uh -huh. times already. So communication in any relationship is key regardless of your life. Go ahead, Patsy. Yep. Go ahead. Finish saying what you were saying. Oh no, that was it. That the that community is the, the key to it all, you know? Okay. Uh Timmy. Yeah. I don't it, yeah, I don't I don't think that would I'm with Bird to who? For, for, you know, he, he ain't, you know, they do surveys. That don't determine every goddamn body. All right. That's how you feel. All right. Let's go to Tanya. Yeah, you got to get past who was on the picture. Um, just because he was standing there, that doesn't mean that he's the one to pull that. That's his point of view. Um, some of the stuff that was in that video is absolutely um, correct. Like, you know, for some for some men, it's physical. Like I said in the beginning, and for, for the women, it's nurturing. And communication is the key. That's, mm -hmm. you, gotta, you have to know each other's love languages, and you got to talk to know what's comfortable for the other. So I don't see anything in that in that video that was um that couldn't be utilized. Okay, well said, well said. You staying on point, you staying on point. All right, Gregory, how about you? Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and disagree with Uncle T because we all took this is reminded me of one of our earlier um episodes when we took the love language test and everybody mm -hmm. did their own survey. So I believe some of what he was saying was genuinely correct. Okay. See, see that that's a man that did his uh did his research and he remembers the um past conversations and you've learned and you committed it to memory. I like that. I like that. That shows growth. All right, Josie, how you feel about the video? Uh she stepped out for a second. She'll be back. All right, let's go to Gina. I agree with um Tanya and Greg um Gregory with what they just said. All right, do you wanna um expound? Wanna... Um no, not really, because I, I didn't get the last part of the video because I was dealing with something. But okay. what they said makes sense. <laughs> All right, okay, that's fair. Um, let's go to Robert. I mean, it's basically somewhat what I was trying to explain, but, you know, I agree. That's all I'm going to say right now. I agree. All right. And Duchess, feel free to type in your answer. Everyone calling people evolve and grow, so you must be in tune and observant of your partner's wants and needs. Okay. Kiana just stated people evolve and they grow, so you need to be in tune with your partner's wants and needs. Uh, all right. Well said, coaches. Yep. I agree with well that. Well yep. said. Right, this is the best she's been since we started the podcast. <laughs> let's talk. Oh, Sean. Sean. Um, yeah, I, I some of the stuff that the guy was saying in the video is I think is typical of what we looked at, how men and women are different mm -hmm. and how we look at love. 
Mm -hmm. um, but from my perspective, I mean, to answer your question, the video, you know, yeah, society, some people do operate like that. For me, it's a little bit different because I'm not, I'm not big on love, if you will, because I think people use it so loosely. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so oh. for me, you got a big I'm, heart. I'm they might try to stab. Me, for me, I'm more of um, I rather women respect me more than she needs to love me because I, I don't I don't look at love like everybody else does. Because okay. you, you can love anything, so it's not individualized for me. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah you're so, right so, about that. So, isn't respect so is the form vice, of love? I was about to is say, is it vice? Wait a minute. Is it vice tree No, no, re re respect is something that that one mm -hmm. gives because you earned it, and and they've and they took the time to understand you as an individual, and they and they respect who you are, what you are, and what you stand for. So, so and Sean, so is now that if they want to love me, they can love me, but their love for me doesn't outweigh, and that's just for me, their love does not outweigh the respect that they respect. show towards me. I get that. Mm -hmm. But oh. now, if she told you... Because respect is love on another level. Oh, you guys, Never mind, my question, though. David, I have, have a question. question. I, have, I have a question, on, too, on, when guys. you guys finish. Hold on, G. Hold on one second. Okay. Let Robbie answer, say what he was going to say, and then we'll go to, um, we'll go to you. Go to you. Sean, so that's the way yes, you sir. feel I was going to say. If your woman told you she's not big on love or respect, she just needs you to trust her. Well, see, my woman couldn't say anything like that to me because mm. that's not we 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 wouldn't be in a relationship because in order for me to get either love or respect from her, we have to establish what we are from jump. And if those things aren't something that she can be big on, and to just trust her, or whatever the case may be, uh, it, it might not be. Because when when neither of those two things are established, then anything can creep in there and jack whatever you have going on. Mm. That's my opinion. Yeah, but at the same time, you you say that you're not big on love, and she just needs to respect you. That's hard. And, no, no, and, no, no, no. And... She can love. No, no. I listen to what I said. She can love me all day long. I said it's that you the one. Not out, no, her he, love hold on, not hold on, let me finish. Her respect That's right. for me. Right. So yes, I'll, but, I'll, but when I, I say that again, so I, love, miss you. I won't knock. I won't knock her love for me. But I, I'm just saying that I don't put a whole lot of credence on. I don't put more credence on her love for me than I do her respect. And, and 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 I was asking you earlier what that go hand person. in hand. You you don't love her. You don't put much on the love that you have for her over your respect you have for her. Is that what you're saying? Um, I, I'm no, sorry, those three things said. can go hand. I in heard hand, what he bro. said, but I'm saying vice versa. Love, trust, and respect. Yeah. If I if if I love you and respect you, I should trust you. Because there's no way that I'm trusting you without those two things. Mm -hmm. But exactly. I think Robert yeah. is posing the question to him. In uh, yes, the Tanya. I mean, I'm, right. first. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to answer it. Um, so to answer your question, because she knows me and that I'm not a big person on, on love or use that word loosely like that, my actions will show her what my love and respect is. All right. Nope. All right, you answered it. Pause. Pause. That's, that's hard. hard. That's hard. That's, Pause. that's Pause. hard to. to I, listen, I already said nah. that. Nah. Nah. I said nah. it. Hold on, Timmy. Timmy. <laughs> Hold on, Timmy. Because Timmy. Speaks loud and words for sure. You're that's hard to follow. I'm going to be honest. But if she, but if her love language is words of affirmation, she want to hear the mm. I'm at. Mm. Mm. Right. Exactly. So did, you hear, so did you hear what I said? So we would establish all of that from Jump Street. That's and if I'm said. in a situation to where I I can reciprocate to that or we can work out whether or not we uh, there'll be a sacrifice somewhere in there. Now, I don't have a problem with sharing certain words this and the other but she would always know that i love her by my action now if she nah. needs to hear something from time to time i don't have a problem with that she um, just gotta understand I'm gonna you, that i'm, I'm gonna be big honest. on that i, 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 I get what you're things. saying and i know a lot of men that's like that but what i will say is 
for someone like me, I'm a cancer. I'm very emotional. I'm run mm. off. You know, I'm 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 a I'm I'm a feelings type person, right? Cancer so system. if 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 yeah. I am loving on you and I'm telling you all the time, I love you, I love you, I love you, and I don't hear it back. Ew. Now I don't care how much you show it. I need I to still hear, need it. hear it. But that's yeah. fine and dandy. But I need you, to hear but, it. You, but it was established in your relationship before you, before you even got to that place, correct? And you all will hear me when I say I that, right? So yeah, basically, yeah, yeah, no, you no, I, I, I get that part. You said you start. Got, yeah, I get them you, too. He cause, wouldn't, cause Gina, he wouldn't have got anywhere with you because you're he's not agreeing like you on know. what he's he's wanting, how he feels. He's, yeah, right. so so y'all wouldn't have went far like him and his lady. Okay, but right let's now. say let's say if he did go all the way and now y'all established that y'all y'all are in a they relationship did. and all that. And so I I answered that part. I said because I know that's what she would want. I would not have a problem with expressing <laughs> that. What about what you want? Because let, what I, I want is giving her what she wants. And, and stop right there. Stop right there. See, you guys gotta listen. Initially, he told you he's about sacrifice, correct? Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. okay. That's what he said. That's what he said yeah. initially, right? Yeah. So yeah. that's that's his sacrifice. So again, okay. he's giving her what she wants. Let's go to the next. So this is we're gonna stay right there. Everybody stay right there. Sean, burn, burn. this is the question. Oh have man, ever, have you ever been in love? Because I was going there. <laughs> um. I thought I was. I don't think I have. Oh my God. I thought I was. I don't think I, I know I've loved people, but I don't I I've I've never been in love with someone. And 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 that's why he answered things the way he, he does. Um yes, that 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 I make sacrifice for a woman, he sacrifices his self for their their feelings at the time or whatever, then there's no weight there. If I was a woman and you're telling me you're only making sacrifices because you think this is what I need and I want to hear. You generally, to, for me, won't be. I wouldn't be able to fail you. Um, pause right there. You're a woman. But that's did you hear what I said? I, I, if I, I was a woman, he kicked that the right of stuff to. I'm making a <laughs> sacrifice for you. I'm gonna tell you every now and then because you need to hear it. I love you. That's not coming across genuine. All right, now pause right there because we're gonna we're gonna come back to you, Robbie. Gina, <laughs> have you ever been in love? I have been in love, but I was going to ask the question of um how is there a specific first of all, do you believe in love at first sight? And is there a specific time frame that you Think is appropriate to tell somebody you love them after you hold start on, dating them. The, all right, y'all talking to me or? No, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Oh, oh, no, I, no, I, no, what I want, oh, what, oh, I, what I want you guys to do is just so we so we get these questions out. We got ten questions. We are only on number two. So, yeah. so, 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 what I want y'all to do is I want y'all to answer. Sean yeah. did it to us. Okay, so no, I'll, I'll, just let me I'll ask just, let, just let me finish, y'all. Hold on, hold on. Let him finish, y'all. I want y'all to answer the questions before proposing another question. Because okay. we get through these other questions. Go ahead. Okay. I have been in love, but there are plenty, there are more times that I thought I was in love and I wasn't in love than I, when I was actually in love. I've only been in love with one person. Mm, so one person. Complicated, and he's not, complicated right. situation. Yeah, yeah. All right, That's hold it. tight, hold tight, because I want y'all to be uh, brief but brilliant. Bert, same question. Have you ever been in love? Yes. Okay. Um, Gregory, have you ever And I'm been... still in love. Okay. <laughs> you know, you won't be you won't be um participating nah. in any um new edition reunions. Um, but go Listen. ahead. Um I've been in love and I've been in pain. And I think it's oh. up to you to decide which one you want. 
Okay. And that's mm-hmm. the real behind old relationships. You don't decide. Love is pain. No, you decide. Here we you go. Decide no. if you decide you want to be in pain because yeah, if pain. you're in love with this person, if you ain't in pain, you wasn't in love. If you wasn't in love, if you wasn't in pain, doesn't love you, right? Right. You're gonna be in pain. Love hurts like a motherfucker. It's a yes or no answer. Exactly. So let me bring y'all back, Gregory. Um, y'all answered. You and Bird, Gina, you answered. Patsy, have you ever been in love? Sean answered. Um. Yeah, at least like to my thinking, I was in love, but. I don't think it was true love. Mm. Mm. Good one. Tanya, <laughs> have you ever yes. been in love? Yes. Okay. Is Josie back? <laughs> yes. Josie, have you ever been in love? Absolutely. Okay. Timmy? I'm still in love. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy. You heard the song. You heard the song. All right, Timmy, we're going to go past you. Uh, Duchess, uh, 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 yeah. Do I think. Hold on, Timmy. Kiana Ooh, said yes, she uh-huh. did. Uh, Timmy, uh, she's yes, still she's... in love. Uh, uh, yes, Timmy. I was in love after Keisha Cole's song. Okay, so stay right she there. Love. Stay right there with Keisha. Um, So mm-hmm. I'm going to ask Timmy first. How do you show your love? How do you exhibit your love? When you love somebody, how do you show them that you love them? My actions. My actions, the things I do. From show my love. What do you that, do? That, that, that could be... What do you do? Uh, cooking or, or, you know, rubbing feet or massages <laughs> or... Running bath or the shit like that, or 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 oh, let's go to the hotel and 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 do our thing at the hotel, you know, or go somewhere, go to the to the movies, or go out to eat. All those things are love, showing love to a person, especially if you spending your money. Hmm. Okay, let's go to Tanya next. Yeah. How, how do, do I show, show love? how do I show my love? Mm-hmm. By my actions, by my intimacy, mm-hmm. knowing what they like, what they like to do, what they like to eat, where they like to go, what they like to hit. Mm-hmm. Just my you actions. What they like to my, hit. My words yeah. of affirmation, and I don't mean I don't mean physically, bird. I mean sexually. That's what I was trying to say. That's awesome. physical too. Well, it is, trouble. but he was he was thinking he was thinking I was on just the other. Grown off, done. What the hell? <laughs> you don't know what I was thinking. How could you tell me that? Right. right. He oh, trying to he he said hit. Let, let her I be because the way you hit it, he he not how he beat you. Because the way you said you, where, he like to, where they like to hit, the way you said that. Like hit, hit it, like hit. bang, bang, right. bang, hit it. Yeah. Bang, yeah. Right. 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 You think I'm talking about? I know he was thinking. I knew immediately was my life threw me over the wall. All right, let's let's come let's come back. To um Sean, how do you show your love? It's it's it, you if you don't it just tell us answer the question according to which how you show uh, you. people that you care. It, it's it's um I show mine like I said, but by um doing the things that I know that they love or like and appreciate or expect from me, and that that. That's it. It is nothing. It's no big bang, boom, anything. It's just doing the things that they expect from me and doing it without any strings attached. Okay. And and, and I think contrary to what, what you may believe, um, I think that for the for your mate, that's love. That 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 defines love for them. It is. Because yeah. it was established yeah. to them, that's how I operate and move. Yeah, and, and, and I, I can and, show you better than I can tell you. Oh well, there you have it. Um, yeah, yeah. Josie, 
You still with us? Yes, I am. How do you exhibit your love? Um, I'm going to show love off of your extension of love. You want to show me that you want to do positive mm. things and move forward, then I'm going to do that too. Okay. Um, Gregory, how do you show your love? Uh, I think you got to try to show it all around the board within everything. I love you here. I love you there. All around the place. Okay. You, I'm, um, I'm telling you, I don't know who she is. Been blown in your ear yesterday. She done knocked over. She done knocked over. She done knocked over. She done Coffee tables and shit, huh, Gregory? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to Gina. How do you exhibit your love? Um, I want to say it like for both ways for for him to exhibit it to me and me to exhibit it to him. Mm -hmm. It would be through laughter, Ooh. through music, through touch through sex through food through communication <laughs> goofiness mm -hmm. and just being just being able to be myself around you and not make cuz I'm I get very uncomfortable around people so if I if I'm comfortable around you that says a lot that's how yeah. they want you when well, you can you be when yourself cuz cancer is great cuz is that why? Can't you find around no man? Um, Cut that out. Let's go to let's go to Robert. Do it um, all. To answer that other question, um, have I ever been in love before? Yes, I have. Um, few Ain't nobody asked you that question. Well, I'm, I'm answering it because <laughs> Bert, what is going answer. on with you today? I so, <laughs> so, so, a few times I'm touching have, my spirit with this and, shit, and and how. How do I show my love through my appreciation of who she is, of all she has done and will continue to do, us moving as one? Hmm. Okay. Oh, so she put up with your bullshit and she still. How many that. single okay. people exactly. on this? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on. Judges, I'm going to give you a chance to answer that. Everybody hold on for a second so we can hear Kiana's yeah. response. From Katie to everyone, call and spending time and getting them things they Patsy's like. Patsy's back. Spending time, Kiana said spending time and getting them things that they like. Oh, okay. That's your, that's, that's the God. love language. All right, Patsy, same question. How do you exhibit your love? Getting the things they like. Um. Oh, really? I pretty much can try to like um, compliment the person, um, cook a little bit, like, if there was something I'm, that I know they, they was, like, they, that was, like, their favorite meal, or they really liked a certain type of, um, food or whatever, I try to cook that, or, just like knowing the person and what they like and don't like it. You know, I try to acknowledge that and, and kind of like um, pull that off and, and show and give them what they like sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. That's pretty much how I show it. Let me give you guys a little fun fact. So, <clears throat> according to stats, they say men fall in love with what they see and women fall in love with what they hear. So let's go right back to Gina. How soon do you fall in love? Um, That's really difficult for me. Well, okay, so it's not difficult. So like when I was younger, I would fall for people faster, obvious being naive and just being young and dumb. Mm -hmm. Now it takes a long time, but so mm, I'm talking to someone right now, someone right now, and um, I don't want to put this another, but it seems that he's falling more for me. Like he's like he's like he said I'm falling for you, and I'm just like, uh, 
and I'm kind of pushing, pushing, pushing away a little bit because I don't think, I don't think it's, I think it's too soon for that. But then I'm like, well, what about people that, that fought like, what if it's like, he thinks oh, that, right. yeah, like that type of situation, but me being me, I'm just like, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm kind of like, I want to say I'm ghosting him, but I'm, I'm, I'm stepping back a little bit. Because he's trying to take been, you off the market. Yeah. Yeah, but it's only been like two months. Yeah, sometimes oh, yeah. sometimes they'll say, I'm gonna say to you, I'm gonna say it to you again. Have y'all had sex they, yet? They say what? They say <laughs> you get... <laughs> well, because no. this is this is this is where it's going. That could play into if, that. If you gave that could play a big part. Yeah, if you gave him something, something attractive if physically and mentally, yeah. or is it just He's trying to, you know, seduce your mind to get yeah, to your so body. Yeah, tell her either which way. If she yeah. gets yeah. something that was yeah. good what for him, game. he's no trying to take off game. the market. If well, she didn't say, give him something that was good for him, not to he's saying all the right things but... to get some. They say, I mean, right. they say okay, well, take you to the green room, Gina. That's what he's saying. He <laughs> Don't be ashamed if you did. It's, I'll take that to the green room. I'm sorry. I don't all mean right. that. Yeah, because right. yeah, we don't yeah, know yeah, yeah. we don't know if this young yeah, man take that to the green room. We don't know if this young man gonna view this uh this this video. We talking big brother talk to you right here. Okay, yeah. all right, all right, all right. So, <laughs> so so again, I will say they say that men fall in love with what they see and women fall in love with what they hear. So perhaps that's the situation. I think to, so to answer the question, I think I think they're is a time frame. I think that you can't fully say that you love somebody for like the first six six months to a year. Okay, stop right there. That's your answer. That's your perspective. yeah. Robert, mm -hmm. same stop. question. How soon? Okay, you now I'm gonna on? answer. I'm gonna stop. answer like this. When I was growing up, and still probably at you know sometimes it's like this. I fall in. I fall in. I got to have that. So it don't be lust and love. It be, I got to have that right there. Mm -hmm. And to take time to really know mm -hmm. what love is, um, you got to find out what you dislike about the individual to even know if you're going to love them or fall in love. Okay. You got to live with someone to really understand what you cannot put up with. And if you can put up with what I cannot put up with, then you might just be in love. All right. That's his perspective. Patsy, let's get your perspective. How soon do you fall in love? Um, I don't fall in love, say, quickly or easily. Mm -hmm. I'm a very cautionary person. Because mm -hmm. um, like I said before, like I... I'm talking to someone and we're trying to fill each other out with um because we're like a love interest. Um, so I'm not quite I'm just feeling them out. So it's um yeah, but I think I've like I said before, I really hadn't really, really fallen in love, more like I thought I was and and Sometimes it was more quicker than others, so I'm not quite sure. Could, could I ask you a question? Like, no, no. Because uh, I was because about to ask you. How I, no, you... no, no, because we got to get through these questions. We're, this goes with what she said. She I, I said she's never been in love, I, but she was married. I understand, I understand that, but you guys, it, this is, uh, I'm allowed. Yeah, yeah Bob, right. that's a good question. That's a real good question. Yeah, yeah. You, you told this yeah. man Patsy. I do and all of that. Come on now, you got married. You never been in love? Right. Right. She was in love with right. right. you. Know, right. love right. this person. Hold and on, let me answer that question. Oh, all right. Can I answer that question? Yeah, okay. I may have married that man, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I was in love with him. I was trying to fix him. Oh. And I thought he oh, in the shit. two parts. Then you of pulled a marry that, that girl, just, marry her anyway. Yes. You know, so it was just a whole mess up situation all overall, and it was a mistake. It was a mm -hmm. learning experience. 
Three, three exactly episodes. It was alive. Was alive. Yeah, he answered this he question was already. It's a mistake. It was alive. All right, so you and, guys, y'all are y'all are making her do <laughs> answer more than what she wanted to answer. So we're gonna move on to I the next. It. We're gonna move on to the next person. Jesus. Um, Timmy, how soon do you fall in love? Do ah, uh, the first night, goddamn it. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh oh, and we know what to be in love with. So oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right, so Tanya, how soon do you fall in love? How soon do I fall in love? Mm. It depends. No. It depends on how the relationship started. Mm. Uh -huh. if, if it was physical, and we're constantly being physical. Physical is a is a, a is a type of intimacy, and so you're giving yourself a piece. You're giving a piece of yourself to that person. Um. So I'm gonna say that was lust. I'm gonna say factuation. Mm -hmm. When I fell and in I love, love that physical when, shit. I, when I fell in love, um, I fell hard, and mm -hmm. it was like after after a uh, summer. Mm. Well, mom. Yeah. All right. So like let's lust. go to let's go. No, to that was it. Wasn't <laughs> lust. It was love. All right. Let's go to Sean. Bird, not talk to young ladies. She told you her truth. Mm. Sean, how soon do you fall in love, if ever? I don't, and I haven't. Um. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. Josie, cold-blooded. Josie, yes, sir. How However long you... it takes. However long it takes. Okay, Gregory. Um, I'm gonna say it's definitely a learning experience because you gotta determine from when you first meet this person if it's lust or love. Because you always, when you get a feeling, you get a feeling about a person. And it, it, it's almost like butterflies or it hits your heart or some, something like that. Yeah, you yeah. just got to learn the person before so you start Greg, going. You fell in love, love you see butterflies. And you <laughs> felt them. It ain't you nothing felt wrong them with the like the Brady it Bunch. Listen, I think, you got, I think you got me confused with seeing something in the air. And I'm telling you. The fireworks are feeling butterflies. That's butterflies normally what goes together. Butterflies in the stomach is a real Some thing. Brady Bunch shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? You think wow. I'm seeing butterflies out? Am I right, imagining? So everybody <laughs> pause for a moment so we can get so we can get Jamie's response. Cupid flying around with the arrow. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. Kiana, um, you want to answer that? Okay, to everyone calling not easily because trust has to be established first left for in the heart as fragile right for in. So I understand Kiana, it. Kiana said yeah. not easily. Trust has to be established first. Um, the heart is fragile. All right, good answer. Good answer. Not today's day and age. The oh, hearts are fucking cold and, and broken. Like I said, however long. All right, so I'm gonna go back yeah. to I'm gonna go back to uh Patsy. Patsy, are you a giver or a taker? Oh, in the relationship. <laughs> Is this so question I'm, appropriate? I'm... Yes. Yeah, Patsy, let's get it. Can I answer? Let me give me a second. Let me give me let me answer. You're a giver. Go ahead, go ahead, Patsy. I, I, I am a giver, big big time. But I, I can also take, you know, because I being a Virgo, I kind of tend to do I'm more of a giver than I am a taker, but I, I you know, when the opportunity opens up and you're yeah, you're giving to me in my in the relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta you gotta work the relationship. You gotta work my heart and work work with me. You know, but I'll give more than I'll take. Okay, mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Timmy, same question: Are you a giver or a taker in the relationship? Both. I take when you give, and I give when you take. So I'm both. All right, mm -hmm. 
Tanya, are you a giver or a taker? I'm a giver. You're a giver? I'm a giver. Okay. Um, Robert, same question. Yeah, I can say majority of the time, I like to give to see the smile, see that you're satisfied. All right. Gina? I'm a taker more than I'm a giver. What I mean by that is if if my man wants to pamper me and all this kind of stuff, yes, I'm going to do it for him, you know, but it probably won't be as equal because men just like to give to me. I don't know. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, 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 you... uh, 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 um, Gregory, are you a giver or a taker? I love me an Indian giver, but I'm a giver too at times so we can take things together. When I'm taking it, you're taking it too. So you like someone to take stuff back from you after they give it? No, he is this Indian giver ass <laughs> motherfucker. I can't believe the stuff you're saying. <laughs> Josie. Oh boy, don't get it confused. Take Josie, take Same question, Josie. Josie. <laughs> I'm a give giver you're a taker. But I do love being a receiver. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, hear that. I was going to say, I was going to change minds to say I was an equal. That's what I mean, receiver. Okay, hold on, Tanya. Say that again. I'm changing minds to an equal opportunist. Okay. Me gotcha. too. Yeah. 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 You, you both had a moment of clarity, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Here's this moment. <laughs> All right. Um, Bert, are you a giver or a taker? I mean, you skipped me in like the past three questions. You sure you want this right now? Yes, I yeah, do. Because I know you're building up to it. But go ahead. We want it. No, I mean, listen, I'm. I don't know what I am anymore. I don't know what I am. Oh God damn! Yes, I, I was a giver. I don't think I was ever a taker or a receiver. Because I guess I don't have many people that I receive from, but I have more people that take from than give to me. So. I would say I'm the giver. I'm I'm a I'm a um I'm a pause for a moment. Everybody pause. I want to say something to Bird, and I want to be clear. This is this is that brotherly love. I'm going to suggest that you start asking more of your um your partners because I think that mm -hmm. you, I, I think that um that no that can become no you have you're to confusing me then you're gonna you're a confused man of who I am. No, do you want my do you want my I don't do you want I don't want your counsel. I don't want your counsel. God put him in a place, God put him in a place to be a giver. If he do if he do anything outside what he have been doing, he's gonna lessen himself as the individual he always have been. But sometimes you can change I don't know to be true. Because if it ain't working, yeah, he's change it. Things until he it doesn't gets, want David's counsel. We don't have to speak on his no, issue. So I'm going to move on. Um, Kiana? From K to everyone, Colin Bowl. Kiana she said says she's both. Kiana says she's both. All there right, you go. Sean, are you a giver? Yeah, I, I thought I was a, a super giver. But mm -hmm. I've learned that I'm more of a receiver because people tend to do more for me than I do for them. Mm -hmm. All right. Stay right there, Sean. So let me ask you this. What is a deal breaker? What can your mate do to make you fall out of love with them? Oh, gosh. He's using that out of love with him. See? He's not he, in love. He don't get in love. So you answer it. Say I don't no, he, 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 no, 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 no. Everybody, I'm, 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 don't, don't rephrase the question. Let him answer it in the manner that yeah. he's comfortable answering. Um, um, a deal breaker for me, a deal breaker for me is, uh, I, I, I don't do well with, with lying. Mm -hmm. I don't do well with lying. Um, lying and as far, as far as a relationship, I'll go with this. I don't do, I can't get involved with people that have emotional attachments to someone from their past. Because mm. I will never compete with that. Ooh, that's some truth for you. That so, is some truth. I, so I that should be for that. everybody. 
No, the no, no. No, because some people can handle that. I, I can't oh, handle that. Just me, I don't care how much I like you. If I know mm -hmm. that there's a significant other that no matter what, and I can understand the relationship because I have friends like that. And so because I have friends like that, I would never put someone in that situation. And I wouldn't put myself in that situation. I agree. All right. Uh, Josie, same question. What is a deal breaker for you? What would make you fall out of love with your mate? Um, no understanding. That's it for me. Ooh, straight to the point. Mm. All right. Is that understanding with a capital U? Yes, if need be. Okay. All right. Um, Bird, what is a deal breaker for you? What would make you fall out of love with your mate? I would agree with Sean and add on infidelity. Mm-hmm. You can't have ties to an ex with me. You can't have communication with an ex with me. Mm -hmm. I'm not built like that. Mm -hmm. I don't need that. And I don't want yeah. that. And that's my option. Mm -hmm. And that's my choice. And I have a right mm -hmm. to choose that's what right. I want to make me happy. And if it's you yeah. having a still having a relationship with an ex because y'all are cool, I'm good. Have that. Yep. Now Same is here. that now is that capital letters? That's oh, an yeah. exclamation point. Okay. Yeah. All right. But that, 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 wait, 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 wait. Is that oh. vice versa? We're not talking vice versa. You're talking a deal oh, breaker wow. for me, right? Was it a deal breaker for Bird? That's right. Not a deal breaker for oh. vice versa. And it so wasn't we Dave. Are, and remember, was we are David? in the building. <laughs> oh. we, we, we are in the building. Of this. I think y'all that shit off. Let's go to Gina. Let's go to Gina. I think You're everything. Gonna love me. Uh -huh. I think that with 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 everyone said, but also insecurity, jealousy, someone that is just not you know that's just insecure within themselves. Mm. Yeah, that would that would do it for me. I would be done. Okay, Robert. Same question. What's the deal breaker for you? What would make you fall out of love with your mate? Someone that lies. And I mean, just lie to be lying. Someone that always is making time for their past relationship. Um, a friend. Uh, I don't care if um, this person needs some advice how to keep his new woman. I I just think that when you move on, you're passing your past for a reason. And and if you keep going in the past, you're never going to see what your future has to offer you. I, I, I'm going to say this real quick. Then I'm going to say these two things for y'all. Let me just end it this out, I don't like lies. Be quiet. Nisha, I don't like you. lies. I don't like whores. So oh, I'm going to tell you this. Oh, oh, my God. Listen, listen. I'm going to tell you this. <laughs> If 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 someone sits here and this is a, this this is a sheriff, someone dwells in the pain of their past, they will bruise their pres present, and they will um they will block their blessings oh, for the future. Good boy. Now what so, I want you to do is write that down and, and say that as an affirmation in the morning. <laughs> I've said it. It's on All my right. computer. Uh, so, so um, let's go to Patsy. What's a deal breaker for you, Patsy? Um, lying, cheating, and constantly my battering me with accusations that of something that I'm not even doing. Ooh. Insecurity. Huh? Yeah, that's insecurity. Hold on, let's insecurity. Finish. Yeah, and being insecure and accusing me of mess that I'm not doing because they're doing. Mm -hmm. you better Thank believe you. That. Huh? Yeah. Thank you. Exactly. Uh, let's go to Timmy next. Uh, I'm going to quote the late great Whitney Houston Heartbreak Hotel. 
Crack is whack. Okay, so that's your answer. Right. Heartbreak Hotel, your background singer said crack is whack. All right, so we're moving on to uh, Tanya. Tanya, what is the deal? The song ain't got nothing to do with crack. <laughs> Tanya, what is, what is a deal breaker for you, Tanya? My my deal breaker is cheating, mm -hmm. whether it's physical or emotional. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, Mr. Lacey, what is a deal breaker for you? I'm going to go ahead and agree with the panel because if you're a cheater, then that means that you're a liar. And if you're a pathological liar, I just can't get with you because that means that this is the deal breaker. When you're not so sure of yourself, when you're not sure of your partner and yourself, you're going to do whatever the hell you want to do because you're not sure of the relationship. All right. All right. That's um, what, what friends would benefit. Greg, I'll uh, make up my yeah, mind tomorrow. I think really I might weird. be falling in love. Give me tomorrow. All right, let's get Kiana's answer. And she'll Kiana. be with the next man tomorrow trying to make her mind up. All right, Kiana. Okay, to everyone calling being disrespectful, degrading, lying, disloyalty, and appropriation. Being disrespectful, uh. lying, um, deceiving. Disloyal. Having children outside. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That'll do it. Your best. That'll do it. Tell Kiana. I told her. I like this Kiana. A new baby. New baby. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Every year. Don't hear that? All right. Um. We're going to hold it together. We're going to hold it together. Gregory. Every year. Hold on, hold on. At this time, I ask everybody to mute their phones so Gregory can show the next video. Gregory, it's about time to hear what the lady has to say. Jump to oh. number five. Let me save you some time. It took me well over the age of 35 to finally get to the point to where I was saying to men, test me, play games with me, do anything to risk losing me. I don't care if it's something as slick as you giving some other chick the side eye while we walking in the mall. Go there and I will show you how much I love myself more than I love you. I think that's hard to hear for a lot of men because they're going to automatically just assume that you're selfish. But selfishness is good in that aspect. Because a lot of times as women, when we start loving a man more than we love ourselves, we start accepting a lot of bullshit that we shouldn't be. A lot of things that we know if we did that shit to them, they let us go so fast, somewhere falling apart in a corner crying. But women, we have this resilience. I'll give you a chance again and again and again. Men don't usually do that. Take a page out they book. Okay, pause. Participants, what Let's go to the ladies first. Sean Edwards to everyone calling clapping and sign energy modifier Patrick type six clapping and sign energy modifier Patrick type six clapping and sign energy modifier Fitzpatrick type. We're gonna clapping and sign energy. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to the ladies first. Sean is giving y'all something on text, but we're gonna go to the ladies first. Uh, Gina, I know you waiting to support that sister, so go ahead and have at it. Absolutely. <laughs> I agree with exactly what she said. Speaking said. your language, huh? Because your language. Timmy, because ladies. we do. I stood in a relation. Uh, I was in a relationship when somebody was const like so insecure within himself. I could just be looking in the direction of that happens to be there's a guy there, but not just him. There's a lot of guys. There's a lot of women, you know, and he would just always be like, what you looking at him? You looking at him? You want to go talk to him or something? I'm like, yo, what's wrong with you? Like real, like what's really good with you? I don't know. So this was, I this say was after you had sex with him, right? This had to yeah. happen. Uh, yeah. Wait a minute. After he, after he, after he, after he was feeling ugly on the inside. Even if but he's like, pretty on the outside. I mean, but my I stayed in the relationship, you know, for a little while, you know, because I was like, you know, I started second guessing myself. I'm like, yo, why 
Why? Why? Like, man, just don't look that way. When we go, when we go places, absolutely not. And I put that on my father. No, I say you asking yourself. You starting to ask? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I started. I'm like, okay, maybe. And and when we go out, I try to like make sure I don't look at anybody certain way because they. I don't want him to get upset. Then I had to say, girl. You might as well look up in the ceiling. You might as well just walk blind. I was about to say, now he's basically that, pimping that, you. That's that, how pimp do. He that, make that, you look so, down. She can't look so, at nobody in a room. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. if he... See, I don't like that type of man. Because he's trying to control you. And he wants full control where... He I choose myself. Whatever the hell he wants to do. And you can't do it all. He has to do... And yeah. get mad or or even come physical with it, you know. I so choose I myself one hundred percent of the time. Like that. All right, I, let's, that's it. Go, yeah. Let's go to let's go to Patsy. Patsy, how you feel about that video? I totally agree. Um, because. I've been there, like I've done that. With my ex husband and. Um, I was giving and whatever, right, and, and not getting back like I should have, but I was trying to fix that. But I had a similar situation with, like, um, Gina just said, you know, dude, I was like, accuse me of switching his clothes out with someone else's clothes and stuff like that. And then, like, what really kind of like broke me was like. I had went to the store for a minute. Um, he called me. He called me and said, "Like we are was." And when he came over, and after I came out the store, there was a one dude coming out this laundry mat, and then another dude coming across the parking lot, and he want to get loud and at me. And you know, boy, it was his insecurity is uh, thinking like. Okay, which dude and I was I trying to meet up with? Hmm. And it's and that's how, how we acted. I was like, blah 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 blah. I want to eye you. So wow, you washed his clothes. What a disrespect! Like, you know, you gotta go. <laughs> so it's like I was done. You know, it's like no, I, I that that's when I took my thing in my hand and was like, you know what? Nope. Gotta stop doing that stuff, you know? Right. Gotta, gotta buck up. Uh, Do for selfish. Tanya? Yes? Did you agree with the video? How did you feel about the video? I agree with some of what she said in the video. I mean, I don't care about a side eye. Because I'm confident in who. And now, once upon a time, I might have cared about a side eye. But when I when I when I found myself worth and stood on myself worth, it didn't matter to me about a side eye. I, I'm gonna choose me. Mm-hmm. You worry about a side eye when that dime walked by that that damn dime model with the breasts and the hips and the head thighs and teeth. Woo! I'm still I don't care who I that. am and what I bring to I, the table. Right. I, mean, I uh-huh. don't compete. I don't compete. I complete. Ah, uh, that's Thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you, cancer. Even you willing to lose your even woman even over to the side? Even if your man says, Timmy, Timmy, Timmy you know I'm gonna tell you right good. now. When when don't it comes to the good. guys, you ain't gonna do. you ain't gonna give a, 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 an opinion on that, even though you might be a little envy that she got his nice body and. You, 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 you let her say that, that first. With. Who are you when dealing you with? Let your girl say that first. Uncle Hold on, what you say? Say that again. Like, oh, she's bad. No, no. I'm, I'm just saying. Ah, yeah, she's I'm bad. Just saying, so. as, as he said you that say, you might have some envy on how she looked. I'm, I'm, I'm saying. Bye. Listen, I'm, let me I'm, tell you something. Uh, 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 you know what, guys? I'm Timmy, saying on, on, on. Timmy, all right, Timmy, and that's said. I know that because you're taking us in another direction. You're not giving the other people a chance to answer the question. So we're going to move on. Uh, Josie, how'd you feel about that video? Uh, She'll be right back. She's taking a business call. Uh, Kiana, you want to answer that question?
Duchess, she's you want to answer that question? She's away from the phone, Dave. Hold on. She probably typed. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, there she go. Oh, she right. didn't see it. She didn't see it. Yeah, what's the right? Keanu, don't worry about I it. I told you she was away from the phone. All right, Timmy. Um, we're gonna go to Robbie. How do you feel about that video, Robbie? Can you guys be brief but be brilliant? Three out there. So you want me to explain how I feel about a woman saying sometime they should do what the man the the man is doing to them? I want you to tell me how you felt about the video. I'm just going to tell you I agree with the lady. Who cares? I agree with her. If that's the way she feels, they have to get back at the man from doing the game his way, play the game. Listen, exactly the world, way the man that's not the you'll get your chance. That's not what the lady You will get your chance. chance. You allow him to do that. You will get your chance. What happened, Go ahead, Robbie. I just told you, I said, if, if if they're talking about people side eyeing while they're with their spouse, listen, God gave you eyes, a mouth, a nose, ears, and your hands to touch. The only thing you should not be doing is touching. There's nothing wrong with looking at the whole wide world. You sitting out here, you're you're taking it all in. There's Pam over there, Tina over here, Tanya in between, um, and everyone else. And you, know you can look. And you, you know can so, look. You're not, so, you're not so, going so the other way around, around too. Let me finish, Gina. Listen, you're not walking up to these individuals. Damn, you look good today. I wonder if I can take your number home and maybe lay you in my house too. But um, let me go over here to the next one. Tell her, damn, you smell lovely today. I just want to get your name and your telephone number if you ain't with anyone. Now you're moving for her and going. You're not doing all these things. You're looking with your eyes, like you're looking at a wall, a car riding by. Now if you're over here dripping throughout your mouth, and your eyes are just bulging, mm. and you're sniffing like a dog, then that's something for your lady to be. Concern about, you or be doing all that. Concern about, but <laughs> you're just looking. All right, damn. Okay, you could that's, just look. That's fair. There might be a black eye in your future, though. Um, I mean, so what about you know, hers? Then, if she can black in your eye from looking, and she's looking, women look at other men yeah. while they're with you. Don't yeah. get it messed up. Yeah. Now. You you it. It. No, not me. I don't. Yeah, right. Hold on, let's get back. Let's... 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 I don't. <laughs> I'm not lying. I don't. But let's go to let's go to Bird. Let's get Bird's um perspective. Go ahead, Bird. I mean, this is probably the video I would say I, I don't agree with that's that's a different mentality. I mean we are going to look. It doesn't mean, like Rob said, you're going to get their number and want to be with them. And Gina, you're telling me you've never seen a man like, wow, he looks really nice. And keep it moving. Right. You don't want him. You don't want to talk right. to him. You don't want to nothing. That's you just what I'm have saying. to notice. Listen, a very there's nice a difference look. between looking like, okay, looking in that person's direction and she looking. Trying to be no, no, but it's, it's not, it, but it, that's what it is. Cause if you, that's if a girl with a fat ass, man. if a girl with a fat ass walks, 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 um, walks by us and you turn your head, I'm slapping the shit out of you. Cause that's just, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. See, 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 listen, 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 Gregory. Let's get your perspective. I know you're waiting. Oh, I agree with the good sister in the video about seeing signs and then running away. But you shouldn't walk into a relationship thinking that way. Thinking, oh, I'm going to look out for him looking at another girl. Or I'm going to look for signs of him doing this, that, and the third. Because when you're thinking like that, you're going to manifest something like that. And that's what you're going to mm. get. Well, and I'm you not, deserve yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. You walk into it like Two that. Two snaps. I'm not, but I'm not, I'm not at all certain that her perspective was based upon going into the relationship. I think she was. She said, "Try me." Experience after. No, she and, said, "All men that come into a relationship with her, she's looking for them to try her 
to do something. Try her. Right. No, no, so if you can't her. walk into I a think, relationship, no, no, I think I think you guys. No, that's um, not that's I think she you said. Didn't watch the video correctly. Go yeah. talking about. That's not what she said. Go ahead, Sean. Play it again. No, we're not. No, Go ahead, Sean. Go ahead, Sean. I agree with her. I like her mentality because Thank she's you. letting it be known that you know she's not going to tolerate disrespect. If you plan to disrespect, she's going to let you know that you know what you'll be disrespecting me without me present. See, hey, listen, I just watched it again. She said, "I'm at this age." And I'm finally realizing that I want men to test me, to try me, to come into a relationship and do this, that, and that. You shouldn't walk into a relationship. That's like, not what like she I said. She said, if, right. she said, I, do if, if, if I'm saying, no, no, go ahead. Listen, 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 this is what we're going to do. We're gonna I treat just this, watched it. We're going to treat this like a car accident. Everybody's mm. watching it. Everybody's going to have a different account of what happened. Let's go on to the next question. Um, and guys and ladies, please pay attention to the question because I want you to answer it as such. Do you yeah, ask me about that, Timmy? Because you've been commentating all through everybody else's mm -hmm. questions, so I'll ask you first Do you believe that good sex equates a loving relationship? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, be brief but be brilliant, okay. Here's it is. Uh, if you put your Good all job. into your love, right, with your love making, then like a sweet flower of rose that she is, she is going to return <laughs> the beautiful fragrance <laughs> of her flower to your love that's you gonna be like, wow, she done rock my damn world, mm -hmm. you know. So, so I, I I feel yes, you 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 can uh equate good sex yes. with um a loving relationship. Okay, Sean, he said yes, of course. Okay, Sean, of course. same question. And everybody keep your opinions to yourself and let them answer the question. Go ahead, Sean. <laughs> Can I equate good sex with love? Yeah. No, I, I, I don't look at it like that. Um, and I'm just going to be real and cocky just because of what I was told. Um, I give good sex anyway. And this never has nothing to do with love. Okay. All right, well, she love your good sex, uh, Gregory. Timmy, Gregory, you're right. Um, if you're not speaking her sexual language, does she really love you, or is she gonna go find somebody that can speak her sexual language? Oh, That's not a concern of mine, sex. sir. So, in, in the answer, in the answer, you're supposed to be answering the question, and again, I'm gonna ask you the question so that you're clear about it. Does good sex, um, equate? A loving relationship. I don't think it equates to it, but I think that it has a lot to do with it. Okay. So, all right. That's your answer. All right. Let's go to Robert. <clears throat> I'm going to have to say no, because a man or a woman can give good sex. And then when it comes to the whole relationship, meaning yeah. How are you doing for me and I'm doing for you? Are you pulling your weight and all that? Because suck. So you can be good in the bed, but you're not good in the relationship. Mm, that's well, why you don't get in the relationship. All right, Bert. Get sex partners. Good sex will cloud love. It doesn't equate to love. <laughs> wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Good answer. Right. Let's get let's let's get the let's get the ladies' perspective. Uh Gina, does good sex equate a loving relationship? Equate to a loving relationship. I agree with Sean, but then again, I do think that when you're in love with someone, it can intensify sex. Mm. Okay. Patsy? Does good sex equate to a loving relationship? 
Well, let me put it to you this way. Does good sex equal a loving relationship? Go ahead, Patsy. Not exactly. Well, like someone said, it can contribute to it, but it does not equate to it. Okay. Part of the relationship, but it doesn't. And you got to look at 100% of everything that's into the relationship. Communication, the way you know, we treat each other, the you know, the nonverbal and verbal com communication between the two of us. Everything. Okay. Y'all just having sex. I ain't got nothing about that damn shit. All right, Tanya. Okay. Sam. Does good sex equal a loving relationship? Yes. Okay. I uh, was that bird. This I'm gonna agree with 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 Bird and Robert and Sean on the aspect of them saying that you can have good sex but be lousy in a relationship and that good sex can cloud a loving relationship and what and I'm going to add with that that good sex can <clears throat> cause you to put up with a lot of bullshit in a re, in a mm -hmm. relationship it's mm -hmm. it's it's mm -hmm. yep. he said it well it definitely does all right, um, let's get Duchess to weigh in on this. Kiana, can we get your answer? Does uh, okay, do everyone call and know sex and are not the same slash equal? You can have sex and not have love, and you can have love without sex. So again, she that's right. says it's not equal. That's right. You can have good sex without love and love without good sex. That's right. All right. <laughs> I mean, again, y'all, y'all dropping uh -huh. jewels, y'all telling you how you feel. Yeah. All right, last question of the night. We're not even going to show the last video, I don't believe. We'll yeah. see what happens. You shouldn't have. have um, video. So we're going to be brief, but we're going to be brilliant. And these are you guys' final um words. Right. So um, <laughs> this is the last question. Can you continue to love someone that has a lack of ambition. Um, they do not uh, support your endeavors and they devalue both you and your family every chance that they get. So again, can you continue okay. to... How was it? That's damn three different questions. If you, and, and, and that's why you need to listen. Can you continue to you love someone right. that has a lack of ambition, does not support your endeavors, and devalues both you and your family every chance that they get? Timmy, first, 60 seconds. <laughs> no. You're wasting, you going? you're wasting your time. No. Hell, fuck you. Hell to the fucking no. All right, that's your answer. Um, Sean, same question. Um, for me personally, I don't think so. But for some people, love is blind. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's go. To, love is blind. Let's go to Gregory next. Um, for me. If you're devaluing my family, you're devaluing my background. So we're just not going to work. I don't know who was talking in the background, but I feel like that. We're just Wait, not going to work. I got to right. tell you. That was Sister Soldier. Good answer. Good answer. Um, I'm going to need you to mute your television, wherever that is, so we can um hear people clearly. All right, we're going to go to Robert next. Same question, Robert. There's no way. Say, say that question, like, say it one more time to me, because my answer is short. Can you continue to love somebody that has a lack of ambition, does not support your endeavors, right, and I got devalues it. I got it. Got your... Both you and your family, every chance they get. I'm going to tell you, there's no way me personally can 
love someone knowing that they're not for me and being for me is loving me caring for me sharing you know you're being thoughtful and you're 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 consider considering how you would make my family feel by talking disrespectfully about them i don't care if it's in front of them or toward me um Nine times out of ten, what you say about my family is going to affect me because I love my family. So if you don't have the love for my family, you're not loving me once again. So I couldn't love you because you don't love me and you don't love my family. And for us to be together as a whole, we might make family one day. Now, your family is my family. So how does that work? Okay. Um, Let's go to Bert. Same question. I would say no, no, and no. Okay. Um, let me see. We got all the guys. All right, we're going to go to the ladies. And you didn't get Gregory, did you? Yes, I did. Um, We're going to go to the ladies. Patsy, same question. No, because I dealt with the men just like that. And devalued my family and stuff. And because he thought I was spending more time with my sister trying to help her out one day and 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 told me, well, you need to tell your family you got a man. And so in other words, he was trying to seclude me from my own family. That ain't exactly. happening. Mm -hmm. okay. He jealous that you had a relationship that All right. take Hello. Gina. Um no. Absolutely not. I don't think that any relationship could work if you're not um, if you're not speaking speaking life into me and you're dismissing my family or being disrespectful to my family. We we just we might be and you're gonna be friends. Um, okay, like that part about speaking life into you, but um, be careful that that person doesn't become your lifeline. Um, let's go to Kiana. Same question, Kate. Okay. Okay. To everyone colon though, you can't have a strong and enduring relationship on shaky ground with no support systems in place. Great. Well said, Jay. You cannot have a um enduring relationship on shaky grounds without um say that one more time, Kim. Without no support in place. All right, beautiful. Yeah. A strong and enduring relationship on shaky ground with no support systems. All right, there you in go. Place, my fault. All right, I like it. Yeah. I like it. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the support. All right. Um, Tanya, did we go to you yet? No. No. All right. And Josie, are you still with us? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. All right, get your thoughts together because you're going to end the show. Go ahead, Tanya. No. No, I couldn't stand in a relationship like that. Reason being, reason being is that if you if you are disrespecting my family, you disrespecting me because I'm mm -hmm. an extension of my family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you're not if you're not supporting me, I I don't need you there. If you're not going to support me, mm -hmm. my family told me about your ass. All right, now at this time, I'm going to ask everybody on the panel to mute your phone so that Josie can have the final say. Josie, I'm going to present the question to you again. Can you continue to be, excuse me, can you continue to love someone um, that has, that lacks ambition and does not support your endeavors as well as devalues both you and your family every chance that they get? If you cannot love my family, then you cannot love me because my family is me. And that's my final thought. All right. Well said. Yep. This has been the Stella Man Podcast Show. Thank you, guys. God bless you. Remember, support our sisters.